hi everyone welcome back in this particular video we'll try to understand another uh, very interesting concept inside function called nested function so far you have learned like how we can perform let's say nested loops okay then nested let's say conditional statement we can also use nested functions inside a python okay it is also possible so this is completely actually practical things i can show you uh, there is nothing theory so let's go to our code editor and try to understand this nested function inside python so guys uh, i'm inside my code editor and what is nested function means like the function inside a function okay nested means something inside something okay like you learn like loop okay loop inside a loop this is called nested loop like you learn let's say conditional statement condition inside a condition okay this is called nested so similar wise we can also use nested function so for this what i can uh, uh what i can show you let me give one example first of all let's say i'll define a function let's say the function name is f okay so this is going to be my function so let me zoom now inside this particular function i will define another function let's say g and inside g i'm going to just write uh, okay inside function g and here i'm going to write inside function f fine now if i execute the program it will work fine now there is no output because i have to call this particular function let's say if i call this particular function f now just pause the video and just uh, let me know which particular message would be printed uh, it would be printed inside function g or inside function f just try to think and try to give the answer in the comment just try to pause the video and just to think first of all try to think and give the answer so let me show you see if i execute this particular function f uh, it will print actually inside function f why because you can see i'm calling this particular function f okay this particular function is getting called and inside this particular function f i'm having another function called g but this particular function is not getting called anywhere that's why it will print this particular statement inside function f now if i just write like that let's say function g okay function g will it work this particular function i'm trying to call here will it work let me know see if i execute it will throw error g is not defined that means you can't actually access any kinds of local function okay outside of that particular function it's not possible this is a similar concept like your local variable okay local and global variable we have learned so this particular function it is inside inside this particular function okay so this is called local function okay this is called nested function that's why i can't access it outside of this particular function it's not possible but if i want to uh, call this particular function where i can call i can call inside this particular function called f okay inside f function i can call this particular function called g now if i execute what will happen okay if i execute this particular f what will happen see now it will print uh, inside function g then inside function f why so let me show you i'll copy this particular code and i will go to my python tutor website so now i'm going to just visualize this particular example but before that first of all let me call this particular function f fine now if i visualize it now see execution has started now if i click on next so what will happen my function will get call and it will create a global frame first of all okay which is nothing but f now my execution will go inside this particular function now see uh, i'm inside my f function now inside f function there is another function actually i have created call g okay now what it will look for it will look for that particular function call whether g is getting called or not see g is getting called if i click on next g is getting called okay you can see g is getting called so it will call this particular g okay and uh, you can see if i execute the program another block would be created okay you can see this is the f block this is the g block that, that means you can see uh three block has been created inside this particular memory first of all the global block th that means this is my uh, main function block then the f function block okay this function block then the g function block okay so these two is my functional block these two is temporary and this one is the permanent one that's how if you're having um, some other function also inside this particular function it will create that many of block okay independent block it will create every time now see it will go inside g and first of all it will print this particular message inside g function you can see inside g function will be printed and it will return none because i'm using print statement without return statement now if i again click on the next it will come in the print function now it will print this particular inside function f okay now this particular function uh, print would be uh, printed now it will return run again because i'm not using any return statement okay now see this particular function execution would be closed and my code will break okay so that's how actually this particular code is working okay so whenever i'm executing the function f first of all it is executing this particular function okay that means g function then it is executing this particular print statement that's why g is coming at the first f is coming at the last okay i hope this is clear now let's say i will uh i'll show you one another thing actually i'll copy the function here and now let's say here uh if i just give 
if i call the f here so what will happen okay if i call the f here what will happen and now let me also call this particular f here now see if i execute this particular uh code sort it with the output see let me show you see it will uh actually print this particular statement uh uh infinite of time and there would be a condition my memory will get full and i'll get a recursion error okay i'll get a recursion error maximum recursion uh depth exit okay exit it this is the error actually i'll get that means what is happening you have created one infinite loop here see what is happening you are get uh, calling this particular function f function f will getting call and inside function uh f actually i'm having g that means g is getting called and inside g actually i'm again calling this particular function f so again i'm calling the function f that means again it is calling g again g is calling f f is calling g g is calling f that's how it is doing repetitive time and you are creating a recursion here i'll tell you the recursion what is recursion recursion is a concept inside actually programming going forward we'll be learning in advanced programming part we'll be learning this particular recursion as well and this is the concept of data structure and algorithm concept uh, if you want to learn data structure and algorithm dsa concept uh these particular things is super important there fine as of now just try to remember it is running one infinite loop okay that's why it is um, getting the memory error okay in this particular situation i hope this is clear so this is the actually concept of the nested function and sometimes actually you need nested function sometimes let's say you want to hide one functionality of your application okay so you can keep this particular function inside a function itself okay? so that uh other can't see your function okay what you have written inside that okay that is the idea so uh, yes this is all about our nested functions i hope you enjoyed so thank you so much for watching this particular video and i will see you next time